Hey guys, today we're filming another day in the life of a dermatologist. Today is a full day clinic. I have 36 patients, mostly cosmetics, a few surgeries, and a few medical patients as well. And I thought I would bring you along. I think there's a lot of value that you can find in seeing others with similar skin conditions as you. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe guys. So we are going to go see the first patient of the day. This is Sharonda. She keeps the whole office afloat. Hi. <laughs> She's in the front. <laughs> this is my staff hiding from you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, they're definitely minimized. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it looks good. And the pigmentation is lifting too. Slowly but surely. So what's your major concern? I need to be hot for as long as I can be hot. Because <laughs> I'll be 51 next week. She looks, she looks amazing. So I want to be hot. Yeah, she so looks amazing. I, um, I want to make sure that my pores are, are minimized because mm -hmm. I did notice uh, as I age, my, my pores did uh, enlarge for some reason. Yeah. And um, also the hyper uh, pigmentation under the eyes, you know, I'd like to make sure that that's, you know, that that stays brightened up. And she looks amazing. One of the most common things that happen as you age is your pores do seem to get enlarged just from the UV rays breaking down the collagen and the structures underneath the skin. So we're gonna address that using the air lace laser. And then hyperpigmentation under the eyes is another huge concern, but the air lace laser can also address that too. So what we're gonna do is help to repair a little bit of the dryness that's happening, probably from the combination of the retinol Okay. But you're going to use a little bit more of a rich moisturizer and a little bit less of the retinol. Not a problem. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Well, I love Dr. Stevens. I think she is a wonderful doctor. She and her entire staff are uh, very professional. Uh, one thing I love about Dr. Stevens is that I get results and you can never argue with results. And uh, I'm gonna have a really hot girl summer because of Dr. Stevens. My face is gonna be flawless. So I'm gonna show you guys what trichostasis spanulosa looks like. Oftentimes people think that it's just blackheads that's clogging the pores and it's actually truly just small little fine hairs that are within the pores that look like blackheads. So if you've been treating your blackheads and they're not improving, you may have trichostasis spanulosa. My beautiful patient has allowed me to do a close up to show you what they will look like. So you see these are actually just little hairs and not blackheads or what's called open comedons. So when the hair is more coarse and thick and you've been doing laser and not seeing enough results, you can always add Vanica to the regimen to really help to thin out the hair and allow the laser to kind of really get in there and work. They work much better together. They're kind of like peanut butter and jelly. So if you're not seeing enough of results from just using laser by itself, you can ask your doctor for a prescription for Vanica to really help to thin out the hair. So this is my wonderful patient who has allowed us to show you the condition on her scalp. She is dealing with hair loss and has been for the last seven years or so. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. And we're going to go ahead and do a biopsy to rule out CCCA, which is the most common hair loss in those of African American or black descent. Kind of classic patterns for CCCA is hair loss that is in the center of the scalp that tends to move outward. So that's that centrifugal worry, and it tends to scar, which is the word cicatricial. So we have hair loss in the center that's moving outwards, but we will do the biopsy for confirmation so that we can make sure her treatment plan is tailored for her. Okay, yeah, this is the pinch. This is the worst part of it. Okay. And then the rest of it, you'll know I'm there, but it shouldn't hurt you. Okay. Okay. I have a pinch here. One, two, three, pinch. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, and then for this next part, you should feel some pressure, but no pain at all. We 
are treating with Kinolab, which is an anti-inflammatory, because this disease process that we are rolling out is driven by inflammation. So everything we're doing towards treatment is going to be to calm down the inflammation so that we can stop the disease process and regrow the hair. So you're gonna feel mostly vibration to kind of distract you from the pinches. Okay. Honestly, I am very satisfied with the progress that has taken place over time. You've been <laughs> so good. It's like, I uh -huh. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. So we've been treating hyperpigmentation. Honestly, she has come so long. She's doing a great job. She's come a long way. Um, there are a few little areas that we still want to work on. Hyperpigmentation is one of those things that you're always continuing to work on. But she is doing amazing, and it's getting compliments all the time, she said. Yes. Um, because she's doing so great. So number one thing is sunscreen. We just talked about her sunscreen protection. She's still doing a very good job with that. And then she's using the um, Even Tone Correcting Serum from Skin Better. How are you doing with this one? Wonderful. I use it twice per day, morning and in the evenings. It's, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's a really good option for treating hyperpigmentation. We did do some other things before that, um, but if you can't get into a dermatologist, it's a great place to start. do a little bit of Kinolab injections here for alopecia, uh, most likely brought on by lifestyle stressors, but it's happened before. Um, so we're going to do a little Kinolab injections. Okay, so pinches here. Ready? some melasma today. So first thing I do for evaluation is actually determine where the pigmentation is within the skin. We use our trusty little UV light here that helps us determine if it's superficial or deep down in the dermis. So I'm going to show you guys how that process looks. You ready? Yes. All right. So if you see here, there are some areas that just don't highlight and the pigmentation doesn't really change under the UV light. And then there are some areas that actually do. So that helps you determine whether or not this area is epidermal or dermal deep down within the dermis so that you know what treatment's actually gonna work and what would just be a waste of time and money and energy.
Okay guys, so the end of the day got insanely busy and I didn't get to film anything else, but I'll kind of walk you through some of the interesting cases. I have to go home to my real job now, just taking care of these two little guys. So let's get to the car. Bye, well done. All right guys, so in true South Florida fashion, it is now raining. Um, I'm sure it will stop raining by the time we get out of the car. So if you take anything away from this video, please take away that consistency is key. So I know that you saw a lot of my kind of follow-up patients today, and they are so on it with their skincare routines. I have the best patients. They truly are super consistent, and that is key as to why they are seeing success. I could build the best regimen in the world for someone, but if they don't follow through and use the different treatments at home, you won't see the progress. And so I have such a great relationship with my patients. They truly trust in me and I am so appreciative of that. And they follow through and that is why they see success. Consistency, it is them, not me. The reason that they do so well is because of their consistency so i hope that you guys learn that one thing if you took nothing else from this video which is to please be consistent in your treatment regimen it takes some time to lift pigmentation to get even skin tone to clear acne it doesn't happen overnight and being consistent being patient being diligent even when you don't want to really does pay dividends in the end. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog of a day in the life of dermatologist. I hope that you learned something, picked up some tips or tricks along the way. Please let me know if you want to see more day in the life of a dermatology vlogs or just procedures or anything else that you're really curious about. I would love to record it for you. I don't know if these kind of videos are interesting, so I do need some feedback for you. Let me know down below whether or not you like these kind of vlogs, if you learned something from them. Um, and if so, I'll create more because they're super easy for me to do. Um, without further ado, guys, I will let you go for the day, but take care and be well.